Hi, one of our smart home here, and today we're going to show you how to connect a two wire thermostat to a new Nest thermostat using only two wires. So what we've got here is a Nest Gen 3 thermostat and our old thermostat. The Nest Gen 3 thermostat is compatible with two wire heating systems like boilers or heat only systems in most cases without a common wire. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to get this Nest third generation thermostat installed. The very first thing that you need to do is go ahead and turn up the heat on your existing thermostat until the heat clicks on on your HVAC system. The reason that we're gonna do this is that we're gonna go turn off the power at the HVAC system and we wanna make sure that we have the power off. And one way to do that is when we flip the switch while the HVAC system is running, we'll know that there is no longer power when that HVAC system shuts off. So now let's go over to the HVAC system and we're going to go ahead and turn the power off. All right, we're over at our HVAC system and you can probably hear it running in the background. What you need to look for is a light switch that is going to be located on your HVAC system or sometimes that light switch is in the same room or the mechanical room as your HVAC system. What you're going to do then is just go ahead and flip that light switch off and that's going to cut the power off to your unit so that you can then begin working on it. Now, if you don't have a light switch directly on the device or there's not one in the room, the other option you have is to go down to your circuit breaker and cut the power off at the circuit breaker. So that is another option. But what you need to do is make sure that you have the unit running so that when you cut power off, you'll know that you cut it off because it will no longer be operating. So now that we've got the power off, let's go back to the thermostat and get started installing our two wire smart thermostat with the Nest Gen 3. All right, we're back at our existing thermostat and what we need to do is remove the outer cover. Now, all thermostats are gonna be a little bit different, but typically look for tabs on the side, the bottom, or the top to release the cover. Sometimes you'll need a screwdriver to press into the tabs and then just go ahead and pull the cover off. Now that we've got the cover off, one very important thing to do before you go any further is take a picture of your existing wiring and make sure that you get the terminal designations in that photo so you know what wires went where on the device. So we can see here on our thermostat, the terminals that are connected are the RH terminal and the W terminal. Now we've got this one additional wire that goes from RH to RC, that's called a jumper wire. We don't need to worry about that for now, but make sure that you get a good picture that shows where your two wires are located. They're gonna need to be on a W and an R terminal. Make sure you get those color designations correct. So now we're just going to remove the existing wires from the terminals. Now, while you're removing this, it's important to try not to damage the thermostat because if you have any issues with your new thermostat, you can go ahead and replace it with the old one without any issues. That's half the purpose of taking a picture. You also wanna be careful to not let these wires go back into the wall because it can be hard to get them back out if they slip in there. So let's go ahead and remove these. Now that we have both wires removed, we can remove the thermostat from the wall. So look where it is secured to the wall. We've got secured points here and here. So we're just gonna remove the screws that hold it to the wall. Now we've got the existing thermostat removed and we have our two wires. We've got the red wire, which is the power wire, and we've got our white wire, which is the call for heat wire. So we're ready to install our Nest thermostat with two wires. Now, something important to note is that the Nest Gen 3 typically does not require a common wire for boiler heating systems or heat only systems probably about 80 to 90% of two wire thermostat systems that have a heat only or a boiler only system do not require a common wire in my experience. However, in some cases you will need a common wire. We have another video that shows you how to do this. Now, the other thermostat that Nest makes that does not require common wire for two wire systems is the Nest E thermostat. So that is also something to check out. However, the latest Nest thermostat, the Nest thermostat that was launched in 2020, 
does not work with two wire systems without the addition of a common wire. So that is something to note if you are trying to install a Nest thermostat. We have other videos that show you how to add a common wire. We're gonna include those in the links below. So go check those out if you're having that issue. Now we've got all three parts to the thermostat here. We've got our wall plate, the base plate, and the thermostat. Now this is designed to cover up a hole or an unpainted area. So you're gonna to wanna to put this on first and then you put on the base plate in the last, the thermostat. So what we're gonna do is take our base plate and our wall plate and we're just gonna hold them together and then we're gonna route the wires through here. So we've got them held together and then we're gonna route the wires through and what we're gonna do next is then align the plate and we're going to secure it to the wall with two screws. We're gonna secure it to the wall up here and down here and then we're gonna connect the wires. So let's go ahead and get it secured to the wall. Now, in most cases, the screws that are provided with the Nest thermostat will work to secure this to drywall. If you have a junction box behind there, you may need to use the adapter plate that also comes with the Nest Generation 3. It's a metal plate there that's designed to screw into the junction box and then you attach the base plate. So just something to note if you have a differing installation from this. Now we've got the thermostat secured to the wall and we're ready to install our wires here. You also wanna make sure that the device is level and there's a little bubble level up there that you can check to make sure that you have it properly installed. Now what we're going to do is take our R wire and we're going to put it in the RH terminal and that just stands for powered heating. So we're going to go ahead and just slide it in there, push down on the little tab and push the wire in. Now we've got our other wire here, this white wire, and we're going to put it in the W1 wire. Now, if you're unsure where these wires go, you want to refer back to that picture you took and make sure that your wires match with the new terminals that you're placing them in. Now that we have the two wires were installed, we're ready to install the Nest thermostat on the base plate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press it onto the base plate. And now we've got our Nest Gen 3 thermostat installed. What I need to do here now is go back to my HVAC system and turn the power back on. If you turned it off at your circuit breaker, go ahead and turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. So we're gonna go ahead and go do that. Now we need to select a language. Now we confirm our choice. Now we click the equipment tab. Here we can select between homeowner and pro, just select homeowner. Now it shows us the equipment that has been detected, heat and power. So we're going to click continue because that is correct. Our system is heating only, so we click continue here. Now it says, what is the fuel source for your home? For most people, that's most likely going to be gas. So we're going to go ahead and click that. What type of heating do you have? We have a forced air heating system. So a heat only system with a blower. So we're gonna click that. But if you had in-floor radiant or radiators, you would wanna make those selections. So we're going to go ahead and click forced air. Now we're going to click Nest app. It says add to your account. You'll be able to control the thermostat remotely and use additional features. We're going to go ahead and click continue. So now we're ready to get this set up on the Nest app. You wanna make sure that you have the Nest app set up and installed on your phone. So we've got it right here. Now we can use either an entry key that is generated by the app or a QR code that will show up on the thermostat. So I'm going to choose QR code and what I'm going to do is just scan that QR code. So in order to do that, you're gonna open the Nest app and you click up here in the settings tab. Now we're gonna scroll down and we're going to click on add a product. Now this is where we will scan the code once it pops up on the thermostat. Obviously I can't show you that, but I'm going to click down here on QR code and I'm then going to scan it using the Nest app. Our device is now connecting because we scanned the code. I'm just going to click back. Now we switch over to the Nest app and we're just going to click already installed because our thermostat is already installed. Now our Nest thermostat is connecting to the app. Now it says setting up the Nest network. Now, because I already have Nest devices connected to my account, I didn't need to enter my Wi-Fi network or password. 
However, if this is your first Nest device, you will need to do that. So just make sure you have the correct password when setting up your account. Now we're going to click next. Now we need to choose a name. So I'm going to choose downstairs. Now it gives us an explainer on auto schedule. We have another video that shows you how to use auto schedule and goes in depth with all the settings on the Nest Gen 3 thermostat. So we'll include a link to that below and I recommend checking that out. But we're going to go ahead and click next for auto schedule. And now we're going to choose our eco temperature. If you live in a cold region, I recommend that you choose a temperature that won't let your pipes freeze. So for me, I live in Chicago, I put the eco temperature closer up to 60 degrees because I don't want my pipes to freeze. And it really depends on your home and location and how cold it gets. So just make sure you make a wise choice there. We're going to go ahead and click next. It says your thermostat is now configured for your system and we can go ahead and click continue over here. I'm going to click done on the app and now you can see that the thermostat pops up over here on the app. So let's go ahead and just click through this and we're going to go ahead and test it now and we're going to click heating. It says testing heat. The heat should be on. Check the vents. It might take a few minutes for the air to begin. So I can hear my HVAC system turning on in the background, but if you can't hear yours, go ahead and go down to check on it and go make sure that your boiler or your heat only system has turned on and you can either hear the boiler or the fan turning on. I'm going to go ahead and click done because everything went well and I'm going to click done again. Now I'm going to click done here and we are to the main home screen on the Nest. So if you wanna adjust the temperature, all you have to do is turn it up here or you can turn down and all those adjustments will also be made on the app over here. If I wanna make an adjustment on the app, I just click on the thermostat and then once again, I can click up or down to set my heating and cooling and those will be made on the thermostat as well. So let's go ahead and set it to 75 and now the thermostat is on. So you can see that the Nest third generation smart thermostat does work in two wire thermostat configurations. For boiler systems or heat only systems, and typically it does not require a common wire. So most people with two wire systems probably won't have a common wire. So if you want a smart thermostat that will work with a two wire system, either the Nest third generation like we've got here or the Nest E are good options for thermostats that don't typically require the common wire. So thank you for watching this video on how to install a smart thermostat with a two wire system. If you like this video, please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you wanna support us. Thank you.